What if, with each kill, he's not simply killing them? He's making a powerful psychic connection with his victims, a connection powerful enough to rip a hole in the fabric of time and space. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Stranger Things season five rumors. You must understand, when one kills, he doesn't simply kill, he consumes. For this list, we're looking at the juiciest bits of fan theories surrounding the fifth and final season of this hit Netflix show. Keep in mind, it's all speculation until the last episodes drop. If you're not caught up through season four, this is your spoiler alert. What do you want to see in season five? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Will created Hawkins in the Upside Down. This diary should be full of entries. It's not. The last entry is November 6, 1983. The day Will went missing. The day the gate opened. We're in the past. In the season four episode, The Massacre at Hawkins Lab, the older teens discover that the Upside Down is an eerie snapshot of Hawkins from 1983 the same day Will Byers was abducted by the Demogorgon and taken there. <laughs> when discussing season five, the Duffer brothers have already confirmed it will answer questions about the nature of the Upside Down, specifically with how it relates to the aforementioned revelation. The answer could lie in Will's nascent abilities. While Will's possible powers are their own can of worms, this theory claims that Will immediately imprinted a replica of Hawkins upon the Upside Down in order to cope with the stressful situation. If that's true, then expect Will to consciously unlock his full potential in season five. Come on and let me know. Should I stay or should I go? <laughs> Number nine, Karen Wheeler is Alice Creel. This is amazing. It looks like a fairy tale, a dream. Okay, this theory is cuckoo bananas crazy sauce, but we wouldn't put it past the show to hit us with another wild Creel reveal. You are never going on vacation again, you hear me? In fact, you can forget about college. You are staying right here. Though Karen Wheeler didn't have as much to do in season four compared to other seasons, she did get a promotional character poster alongside every other main character. The series features the characters' faces against the backdrop of the location they're most connected to. So the fact that Karen's was represented by the Creel house had fans buzzing. Timeline-wise, Karen being born in the 1940s would line up with Henry's older sister, Alice. Sure, Alice is supposedly dead and they have different colored eyes, but we don't see Alice die. And the eye thing hasn't stopped other franchises in the past. You have your mother's eyes. Number eight, The Return of Kali, AKA Eight. You're a terrible dancer, Axel. I told you, stay out of my head! One of the most reviled episodes in TV history is The Lost Sister, with many feeling like it doesn't fit with the overall trajectory of Stranger Things season two. Still, its many implications for the show have people convinced it will pay off down the line. But with the final season looming, time is running out for Kali to come back. This butterfly, it isn't real. I've just convinced your mind it is. Think of it as a kind of magic. Known as eight when being experimented on at Hawkins Lab, Kali too was able to escape. Unlike Eleven though, Kali's powers are of a different variety as she's able to create illusions in the minds of others. Boom. Should she return? She could be a powerful ally against Vecna, AKA One. Or maybe she'll appear in one of the Stranger Things spin-offs in development. There's nothing for you back there. They cannot save you, Jane. No. But I can save them. Number seven, Henry Creel is Eleven's father. Okay, time for Creel Reveals Volume Two. He tried to recreate me. He began a program. And soon, others were born. You were born. 
Though season two goes in depth with Eleven's mother, Terry, not much is known about her father. The official novel Suspicious Minds lists him as being someone named Andrew Rich, who was subsequently killed in Vietnam. But that could easily be retconned. The fact that Terry was a subject in the tests at Hawkins' lab would have put her in close proximity to Henry Creel, who was about 24 when Eleven was born. Imagine what we could do together. We could reshape the world, remake it however we see fit. Join me. If this turns out to be true, Henry propositioning Eleven to join him would give them a real Darth Vader Luke Skywalker dynamic, which we're not opposed to. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. Do you feel this Creel reveal is the real deal? Sorry, we know these rhymes are not ideal. Number six, it's all a game. Honestly, this twist would probably piss off a lot of fans, but it would make a lot of sense too. That, that sound, boom, boom. No! That didn't come from the tropical lights, no, that, that came from something else. Demogorgon! Ever since the first episode, Stranger Things has prided itself on embracing Dungeons and Dragons. But what if the whole show has just been one long campaign? Campaign took two weeks to plan. How was I supposed to know it was gonna take 10 hours? You've been playing for 10 hours? Beyond naming certain upside down creatures after D&D characters, the show ending with the original four boys huddled back around their table in Mike's basement would be absolutely gobsmacking. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not it, is it? No, there's a medal ceremony. Oh, a medal ceremony? What are you talking about? Yeah, man, the campaign was way too short. Yeah. It was 10 hours. But it doesn't make any sense. It makes sense. Oh, uh, no. Sure, we'd have to give Mike credit for creatively dungeon mastering a whole saga featuring the people they know in their hometown, but this is one theory we sincerely hope isn't true. That's why we play. Number five, Will's relationship with Vecna. Now that I'm here in Hawkins, I can feel him and he's hurt. He's hurting, but he's still alive. The Duffer brothers have already confirmed that Will Byers will be playing a major role in season five, which is already great news. The ending of season four features Will being able to sense Vecna's survival, in addition to being the first one to sense the Upside Down's full-fledged arrival in Hawkins. Fans have since speculated that should Vecna's body really be destroyed, his essence might be on the hunt for a new host. Just like that. Will has already been possessed by Vecna by way of the Mind Flayer, so Vecna setting up shop in Will's consciousness could be a familiar fit, especially considering Will's established connection to the Upside Down and his supposed supernatural abilities. He made me do it. Who? Who made you do what? I told you. They upset him. They shouldn't have done that. Number four. Time travel. With all the clocks, time was obviously a big theme in season four. This theory posits that on top of everything else, Vecna has the ability to see into the future. You have already lost. While his dialogue about the gang having already lost could be seen as overconfidence, perhaps it's not. I want you to tell Eleven. I want you to tell her everything you see. When Vecna shows Nancy a vision, the four gates open up and converge in downtown Hawkins, just like they later do. But how could he know the fourth gate would open at the Creel house if he didn't know Max would go and eventually die there? Four times. If seeing through time is possible, could traveling through it be? And if Vecna can do it, can Eleven do it? And if Eleven can do it, can she change history? Hi. Number three, Eddie's Encore. Eddie was truly a standout character, so we're not surprised people have already speculated as to how he could return. 
However, this theory might have a lot more to it than wishful thinking. I think it's my year, Anderson. I think it's finally my year. As we know, Eddie met his end distracting Vecna's demo bats. As we also know, Vecna is the name of a character in Dungeons & Dragons, where he just so happens to have a vampire lieutenant named Cass. So there's the bat connection. Since Eleven's able to bring Max back to life, there's no reason why Vecna can't do the same for Eddie. People have also noticed that Eddie's similar weaponry to Cass could be a hint at this. <laughs> Also worth noting, Cass betrays and kills Vecna in D&D. So yeah, there's that. Vecna's dead! He's killed by Cass! So it was thought, my friend. So it was thought. Number 2. Max's Soul Above all these other rumors, one plot thread you can be sure they'll resolve in Season 5 is Max's comatose state. I'm here, Max. What exactly is going on with her has been the subject of rampant debate. But one clue could come in Eleven's flashback with Henry. After killing all the test subjects, Henry tells her that they're still with him mentally. They're still with me. Here. This could mean that Max's soul or her consciousness could be trapped within Vecna's. If this is true, perhaps Max can reunite with Vecna's other victims and take it to the Freddy Krueger inspiration Dream Warrior style. Look, all the little babies come home. Let him go, Krueger! Your wish is my command. This would, at the very least, allow us more time with Chrissy, who was definitely taken from us far too soon. Chrissy, wake up! I don't like this! Chrissy, wake up! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1 a new upside-down monster. While there's no confirmation of this, the clues for this one are all over season four. This, this giant creature with a gaping mouth. And this creature wasn't alone. There were so many monsters. For starters, in the vision Vecna shows Nancy, which we've established is totally true, she describes seeing a giant monster. Earlier in the episode, Will shows Mike his painting of their D&D party fighting off a red three-headed dragon, which fans can't help but feel like is foreshadowing. This is amazing. Did you paint this? It, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, Elle asked me to. She commissioned it, basically. I mean, she told me what to draw. If we're going by D&D lore, the two creatures fans are connecting these hints to are Boris, a giant red dragon, and Thessal Hydra which similarly has multiple heads. Thessal Hydra, I'm telling you. It's not the Thessal Hydra. I'm telling you, it's the Thessal Hydra. The Thessal Hydra! Oh, damn it! It roars in anger! Will, your action! It's also possible that we've heard this giant beast already, as the older teens hear some very loud roaring when at Skull Rock in the Upside Down. Yeah, so guns seem like a pretty good idea to me. Yeah, me too. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.